All right. Mistral, not minstrel. I keep saying minstrel. Minstrel. It's mistral without the N. Mistral. Um, the people of Mistral respect the land, in particular the sky and the sea. I'm not sure why the sky and the sea only, but or in particular, but they respect the land. And in Mistral, you have, you know, the strongest opposites. The high class is responsible for, you know, fashion, architecture, and theater. All the things that make the world pretty. But at the same time, in the opposite end of the spectrum, you have the biggest underworld. Um, and it makes sense. It, it, it totally makes sense. That's how the city is kept in balance. You have your higher, uh, not higher class, I uh, wanted to say your... Um, your high contributions to society and for something uh, this large, so to say, you need to have something equally as large, but an opposite, um, an opposite, I guess, direction to keep things in balance. Because if you have a city that's just purely evil and nothing good comes from it or not evil um, hmm. what would you call the underworld where let me organize my thoughts here uh, based on the message that I want to deliver um, hold on a second It has the biggest black market and the biggest job offer. Not job offer. <laughs> the, the, the personal request market, so to say, where anything that you want done, you can get done if the price is right, so to say. Um, gosh, how do I uh, how do I word this? I'm having a hard time building my sentences right now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna word vomit and then I'll start fixing my uh, my alphabet soup. Um, it makes sense because one thing helps support the other, and what I mean by this is that. You know, when you're building your skyscraper, you need to have a large foundation underground to be able to support it. Otherwise, it's just sitting on the surface and it'll, it can topple over, or fall down, because it doesn't have a foundation to help support it. The foundation, in this case of uh, Mistral, would be this underworld where things are done, things happen. If the price is right, you know... You need things acquired or, unfortunately, people assassinated or whatever the case that you might need. You can find it in the underworld. And because of this, uh, the strong, dark foundation, and perhaps, I'm not saying it's the case, but perhaps this darkness is what allows, you know, the high society to be able to do what it is that they do in architecture, in a fashion, and in theater. It serves as the starting point, or not the starting point, it serves as the, the, the catalyst in order to, to, to start building up, to move up to better things, to be able to, you know, create your vision, your ideas, your thoughts, and and the common thread that binds everybody together is respect for the land. Let it be the sea or the air, which is a strange combination. I'm trying to make sense of it still, but for the sea and for the air, um, 
they settled on the cliffs and then from there they kept on expanding and Mistral was born to what it is today in a way um mm -hmm. so that's that <clears throat> Why do I think this way? Allow me to explain my line of thinking here. If you have a city that's complete underworld and has nothing to offer in a positive res regard to the rest of the world, then that city becomes a nuisance. And chances are that, you know, everybody else or... or, or I guess order enforcement would come down and, and, and hammer it out in a way where it stops all the things that happen in this area. Um, same thing with the opposite way. If you have a society or a city that is, you know, perfect, proper, creative, you know, great aspect for society, but you don't have your element of evil not evil, just, you know, back room door dealings, so to say, where, where things happen behind the scenes, then you end up with um, the word I'm looking for is something that is not able to look out for itself or to protect itself in a way that um I don't. I don't want to say hollow, but without substance, without without the um, the the nitty gritty or the claws needed in order to be able to keep moving forward. Um. So that's that's why I I kind of like believe that it makes sense to me why the city of or the kingdom of Mistral has great contributions to society, but at the same time it has a large and powerful underground network of the black market um, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's, that's my line of thinking as far as that goes. Um, and then Crow says that there's a lot of places where you can hide, especially the further out you move from the kingdom um, because you have the, the the council the watchful eye of the council is not so stretched out that it can see everything yeah this the, the kingdom is there and is able to be monitored properly but the further out you go the less influence the less reach the uh, the council have has and therefore better places for you to like lay low um, but that's why you gotta know where to look. So that's Mistral. That's the kingdom of Mistral. Um, so let's leave that there. Anything else? Anything else? Going once. Going twice. done all right so <laughs> thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate your support and everything that you do um i feel like something's missing but i can't quite pinpoint what it is but if i remember i'll be sure to add it on later on um so until next time take care <laughs> and bye bye Ruffle,